Welcome back. Today we're going to look to continue with our layer 3 VPN config. So let's move on to the PE2 and create the VRF first. Um, as our first step to create the VRF, that's maze. We're going to go under the address family IPv4 unicast, set the import and export route targets. And um, once we set the route targets and for the VRF, we're just going to create export route target and then commit the config in iOS XR. So next we're going to exit the VRF config and we're going to go under the interface that is uh, directly connected uh, to CE2. So that's gig0002. Place it under the VRF maze that we've just created and set the IP address as per our topology on the interface directly connected to CE1. And that's going to be 15.1.9.2. That is the PE2 side and the prefix for is that slash 24. So it's going to be slash 24 mask for that. So we're going to commit again just to ensure that it's OK. We're going to next create a routing process on the on the PE2 and routing process in this case is going to be again 100. And in the iOS XR, we create the process. Then we go under the VRF and then address family IPv4 unicast in this case and then set the area, then we place the interface that is directly connected to the CE1 under the OSPF area. And that's area zero, we're gonna set the network type to point to point to match to CE. Side next, we're going to take a look at uh, the VRF neighborship with the CE2 and we see that we have adjacency with the CE2 under the VRF maze on PE1. So we see that we have adjacency with 192.168.2.33. That's the loopback IP address of CE2. The next is directly connected IP address of 15.1.9.1. That's next stop where the directly connected interface to the CE2. Let's just verify the routes received via OSPF on the PE2 from the CE2. So we're gonna see uh, see what we've got. So when we do show OSPF VRF maze routes, we see that on the PE2, we have received prefix 192.168.2.33 slash 32 via the directly connected interface to CE2, interface gig 0002 on the PE2. So we have received the prefix now from the CE2 on the PE2. So with that, um, PE to C OSPF config now complete. Our next task is to ensure the reachability between the two CEs. So now we know that we have OSPF adjacency op from the CE1 to PE1 and PE2 to CE2. But how do we get that prefixes across the MPLS core? to the other CE site. So we have the multi-protocol BGP in the core. To achieve this connectivity, what we will have to do, we will have to redistribute the routes between OSPF and BGP on both PE1 and PE2. So what we're doing, we any routes that we're receiving from the VRF, we are importing into the BGP on the one PE. So let's say that we've received a route on the PE2 from the CE2 and we're going to put that into the BGP. So we're going to redistribute OSPF into BGP on the PE2. So the OSPF routes go into the BGP. Similarly, we're going to export back the BGP into the OSPF on the PE2. So within the VRF. So the routes that we've received for the VRF maze, we're going to redistribute back into the OSPF process. Similarly, on the on the PE1, same again, we're going to redistribute OSPF into BGP from VRF into the BGP and in the opposite side from the BGP out to VRF to achieve the full reachability between CE1 and CE2. 
Let's start the redistribution process on the PE1 first. So we're going to go under the router OSPF uh, first of all, and we're going to redistribute BGP into OSPF under the VRF name that is MACE. So we're going to redistribute BGP into OSPF. So the BGP routes have been imported into the VRF MACE. We're going to exit and commit the config and next we're going to go under the router BGP. In the in the iOS XR, the um, redistribution process is slightly different in BGP. We're going to go under the routing process. We're going to go under the VRF, in this case, maze. We're going to set the route distinguisher. In this case, is 100 colon 100. And we're going to go under address family IPv4 under the VRF maze in the main BGP routing process on the PE. And then we're going to redistribute OSPF 100 process into BGP and commit the config. Next, we're going to go on to the PE2 and repeat the same process of redistribution from OSPF to BGP and BGP to OSPF. So let's jump on to the PE2. We're going to go under the routing process of OSPF. That is 100 and VRF maze. So we're going to redistribute BGP 100 inside the OSPF process, commit the config, going to go under the BGP routing process on the PE2, that is 100. We're going to go under VRF maze. Then we're going to set the route, route distinguisher for the VRF. We're going to set 200 colon 100. Oh, let's set it to 200 colons. 200 to just to make it uniform. This is going to make the VRF unique. And then we're going to go into the address family IPv4 under the VRF and redistribute the OSPF 100 process in the BGP under the VRF process. Now let's jump on to the CE1 and take a look. Magically, we see that on CE1, we have received OSPF route that's uh, donated by O. It's OIA, it's intra area route. And the first prefix we've received on the CE1 is 15.1.9.0 slash 24. That is a directly connected prefix that we have advertised into the OSPF. And on the next one, we see that we have received the intra area route that is the loopback IP address of the PE2 that is across on the other side. So the PE2's loopback IP address has come over the MPLS B VPN through the PE1 over to CE1. So that shows that our redistribution between OSPF and BGP is correct and it is complete. We're gonna go now to the other side on the CE2 and take a look if we have received the prefixes of CE1 on the other side. So we're going to go and have a look at the adjacency. We can see that the neighborship is up. We can take a look at routes and we see that on CE2, we have similarly again to OSPF intra area prefix is received. And on first of all is the directly connected prefix of 15180 slash 24. And that is how we advertise that into OSPF and also the loopback IP address of CE1 is received across on CE2. So that proof that the OSPF to BGP and BGP to OSPF redistribution on the PE1 and PE2 is correct. And we have the correct prefix is received across. So next we're going to just take a look at um, some of the verifications on the PE1. So for example, how would you verify a prefix inter inside the OSPF network? So just some of the very simple um, verification is gonna be that we're gonna take a look at the OSPF prefix on the PE1. We're gonna use show BGP, VPN, V4, Unicast, and VRF, and VRF name, and then the prefix. So we're looking for the prefix that's been sent by the PE2 and that is a IP address of the CE2 on the PE1. So we're looking inside the VPN V4 
BGP, we see that the route, route distinguisher set is 100.100 .100. and we can see that we have extended community attached to the prefix. We're going to go in the OSPF domain IDs and all these later on in our coming videos, but we can see that the router ID is set of 10.0.0.2. That is the PE advertising the prefix into VPN v4 and the route target is also set. And we have the address family identifiers that is VPN v4 unicast and the source route dis distinguisher as well in the in the output. Next we're going to just to verify the connectivity between the CE1 and CE2. We're going to go and we can see that we can reach the CE2's loopback IP address of 192.168.2.33. Next we're going to just uh, do a trace from CE1 to CE2. And here we trace from 192.168.2.33 that is the IP address of the CE2. We see that the route is taking the MPLS core path. So the trace starts from the CE1, it goes across to the PE1 that is directly connected next stop of 15.1.8.2. Next is using the label switch path to go down through the MPLS core to the next PE and we see the label exposed from the PE2. And next the IP, prefix, IP uh, packet is gone across to CE2 over the directly connected interface between the PE2 and CE2. With that our layer 3 VPN config is now complete. Uh, I hope that it's been informative and I look forward to see you in our next videos. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification for my upcoming videos in this series of iOS XR. Thank you.